This is the Hulot HA16PX. Rough terrain articulated boom. Those who intend to use any machine with characteristics of weight, height, width, length or complexity which differ significantly to the training they have received should ensure that they receive a familiarisation to cover the differences. It is the employer's responsibility to ensure that all operators using equipment are adequately trained and familiarised to comply with current health and safety legislation. Machine specific familiarisation should follow on from basic training and cover the manufacturer's instructions and warnings, features of the specific model, control functions, safety devices and emergency lowering procedures. All of the above are to be found in the operator's manual supplied with the machine. The length of the machine in the stowed position is 6.95 metres. The width of the machine in the stowed position is 2.3 metres. The machine height when stowed is 2.2 metres. The maximum working height is 16 metres. The maximum platform height is 14 metres. The maximum reach is 8.7 metres. The turntable rotation is continuous 360 degrees. The maximum tilt of the chassis is 5 degrees. The maximum wind speed is 28 to 37 miles per hour. The maximum capacity of the platform is 230 kilograms. Maximum occupants in the platform is two persons. The maximum slope that the machine can climb is 50%. The maximum side force on the machine is 400 newtons or 40 kilograms. Machine weight can vary. Please refer to the serial plate of your machine for the exact weight of the machine. For further dimensions and specifications, please refer to the operator manual contained with the machine. Before using the machine, ensure that the thorough examination is in date. The serial number refers to the serial number on the thorough examination. Every day and before beginning work, the machine must be subjected to a visual inspection. If you do find a fault, isolate, tag and report the machine. Do not attempt any repairs to the machine. Check the following points. Identification plate labels, decals and operator manual. Visual state of the machine looking for absence of cracks, damaged welds, missing or loose parts, bolts, nuts, connectors, cables, batteries looking for leaks, security, hydraulic cylinders looking for leaks, rust, traces of wear and tear, impact, condition of the wheels looking for loose or missing nuts, Condition of the tyres, wear and tear. The type of tyre fit of the machine are foam filled tyres. This may be indicated by a bolt in the tyre or foam in the valve. Visual inspection of limit sensors. Fuel levels, hydraulic levels, ground control panel, platform controls, anchor points, lanyard anchor points, guardrails and sliding midrail. Hulot manuals use symbols. These are used to alert the operator of the safety precautions or to highlight practical information. Danger, risk of injury or death. Caution, risk of material damage. Prohibition, relating to work safety and quality. Reminder, no identified risk, but a reminder of common sense, good practice or pre-action prerequisites. Cross-reference, to another part of a manual, cross-reference to another manual, cross-reference to repairs. Hulot manuals also use labels. The label colours identify potential dangers and specific regulations which are indicated on the machine by these labels and identification plates. The labels must be in good condition. Please familiarise yourself with the labels and their respective colour codes. Red, potentially fatal danger. Orange, risk of serious injury. Yellow, risk of material damage and or minor injury. Other, additional technical information. C1, dolly. C2, front driven steering axle. C3, rear driven steering wheel. C4, jib. C6, 
platform. C7, upper console or platform controls. C9, upper boom, housing the telescopic boom. C11, turntable. C27, lower console or ground controls. C30, hydraulic tank. C31, fuel tank. C36, top arm. C38, bottom arm. These are known as the lower boom. And C43, turntable, rotation, locking pin. Safety devices. Turntable rotation pin. This pin allows locking of the turntable during transportation or travelling of the machine. Sliding midrail. The platform is composed of guardrails and incorporates a sliding midrail which facilitates access to the platform. Never attach anything to the sliding midrail. Do not secure sliding midrails open. Anchorage point. The machine is equipped with approved anchorage points accepting a single harness per anchorage point. Hydraulic ramping. Your machine may have hydraulic ramping built into it by design. This means that the machine may not stop immediately when a controller is released. Ground control panel. Number one, electric preheating LED. Two, engine oil pressure LED. Three, engine temperature LED. Four, battery charge LED. Five, air filter blockage LED. Six, platform overload LED. Seven, radius limitation LED if fitted. Eight, jib select switch. Nine, telescopic boom select switch. 10, upper boom selector switch. 12, lower boom selector switch. 13, platform tilt compensation selector switch. P14, turntable rotation selector switch. P15, emergency stop switch. P19, backup generator or auxiliary emergency power selector switch. 20, engine hour meter. 21, engine acceleration selector switch. 22, engine startup selector switch. 167, engine temperature LED. Platform control console. 26, machine in tilted position LED or default LED. 30. Platform overload LED. 31. Power LED. 32. If fitted, radius limitation LED. 33. Proportional drive joystick and front axle steering on rocker switch. 34. Rear axle selector switch. 35. Differential blocking selector. Activated maximum torque for difficult ground or ground with a slope. When released, this is for standard torque. 37. Jib boom selector. 38. Platform rotation select switch. 40. Platform compensation or tilt select switch. 41. Backup generator or auxiliary emergency power select switch. 42. Engine startup switch. 43. Horn select switch. 46. Emergency stop button. 49. This is a dual axis joystick. Left and right controls turntable rotation joystick. Up and down upper boom lift joystick. 50. Lower boom joystick. 54. Boom telescope select switch. 71. Drive speed selector. Hair is for fast driving. Tortoise medium speed drive for difficult ground and slopes. Snail slow driving for short distance and final approach. Length and angle sensors. For reasons of stability, and work area management, the boom is equipped with length and angle sensors. 
If the load in the platform is more than the maximised authorised load, no movement is possible from the upper console. The platform overload LED and buzzer will warn the operator. Two possibilities to restore normal configuration. Remove weight from the platform to return to an acceptable load or get a rescue person to use the lower ground controls to lower the platform. If the machine is located on a slope, the operator is warned by the tilt LED on the upper console and the buzzer. Drive will be prevented. To restore the driving function, only movements allowing the machine to be folded are permitted, such as telescope retraction, raising or lowering the boom to return to the horizontal position, lowering the lower boom, lowering the jib until it is below the horizontal position. Ground function tests. Take the key and put the key into the key position. The key position has three positions, off, ground and platform. These are generally colour coded. Orange is generally for ground controls, green is generally for platform controls. Please check your operator's manual for corresponding colours and codes. Turn the key into the ground position or orange. Pull out the emergency stop. When you pull out the emergency stop, you will hear the beep. Start the machine by using the engine start switch. There are two speeds. Turn the speed to the low speed for carrying out these checks. Test the emergency stop by pushing in the emergency stop. The engine should now stop. Turn the key to the off position by using the key. The engine should now stop. Restart the engine. Turn the key to the centre position. The engine should now stop. Restart the engine. Use the ground controls now to lift the lower boom. Elevate the lower boom. Lower the lower boom. Lift the upper boom. Lower the upper boom. Lift the jib boom. Lower the jib boom. Use the ground controls now to rotate the turntable. Rotate the platform. Platform compensator or tilt. Once the boom arms have raised, the platform will not tilt. Now use the control to check that the platform will not tilt. Lower the boom arms to the ground. Leaving the engine running, lift the canopy. Locate the tilt alarm. With your left hand, take hold of the tilt alarm and gently pull it to one side. Now with your right hand, now elevate the lower boom. As you begin to elevate the lower boom, you will find that the machine will stop and the tilt alarm will sound. Ground emergency lowering. Push in the emergency stop and pull it back out again. Now locating the lower boom, hold the switch down and operate the backup generator or auxiliary emergency power switch. The boom should now start to lower. Repeat this for the upper boom, telescopic boom, jib boom and turn turbo rotate. Please note that this will not affect the platform compensator or tilt. Activation of controls. The controls must be validated by a dead man system to activate the different movements. The dead man system depends on the machine configuration. You may have a joystick handle with dead man, an enable pedal dead man, or an enable validation button dead man. Please check your manual and your machine configuration to identify these types of dead man systems. Pull out the emergency stop and turn the key to the platform controls. Climb into the platform and ensure that the sliding mid-rail gate shuts behind you. Connect your carabiner to the anchorage point located in the platform, ensuring that your lanyard is adjusted to the correct length. Pull out the red emergency stop. To test the enable foot switch, put your foot on the foot switch and now try and attempt to start the machine using the engine toggle switch. The engine should not start. Take your foot off the enable switch and now use the engine toggle switch to start the engine. Test the platform emergency stop by pushing in the red emergency stop button. The engine should now stop. Pull out the emergency stop and restart the engine. To test the foot switch function enable function, operate all the controls. 
Attempt to drive forward and backwards. Attempt to steer. Attempt to lift the main boom. Attempt to lift the upper boom. Attempt to rotate the platform or telescope out. As your foot is not on the foot switch, none of these controls should work. Restart the engine. Test the horn by pushing and holding the horn switch. Using the jib select switch, elevate the jib slightly to bring the machine to elevate the platform. Now using the drive control joystick, ensuring that the area is clear around you, drive forwards and backwards. Change the speed select to snail or tortoise. Taking the drive control, drive forwards and backwards. The machine should drive forward, come to a stop and then drive backwards and come to a stop. Test the front steering by using the steering controller on top of the joystick. Move the steering toggle switch over to the left, the front steering will turn left, over to the right and the front steering will turn right. Using the main boom, elevate the boom by pushing it forward and lower by pulling it back. Now use the upper boom lift joystick by pushing forward to lift and pulling it back to lower. Move to the left to rotate the turret and turntable to the left and to the right to move the turret and the turntable to the right. Check the rear wheel steering by using the toggle switch. Push left to steer the wheels to the right. Push right to steer the wheels to the left. Steering can now be achieved by using two wheel steer, four wheel steer or crab steer. Test the platform rotate button by using the toggle switch left to rotate the platform to the left, right to rotate the platform to the right. Use the boom telescoping select switch to ensure that the boom telescopes out and telescopes in. Use the platform compensation or tilt select switch to ensure that the platform tilts up and down. To drive forward, ensure that the platform chassis color is green for forward and red for backwards. Make sure that these are correctly orientated round. Platform emergency lowering. Push in the red emergency stop. Pull out the red emergency stop. Put your foot on the foot switch. Take hold of the lower boom joystick and pull down. Now using your left hand, use the backup generator or auxiliary emergency lowering button. Again, test all functions through a short cycle to conserve battery power.